Santorini, a jewel in the Aegean Sea, is renowned for its breathtaking landscapes, whitewashed buildings, and vibrant culture. This idyllic Greek island has become a dream destination for travelers seeking a perfect blend of history, relaxation, and culinary delights. In this ultimate guide, we'll explore the top places to eat, stay, and see on this enchanting island, ensuring you make the most of your Santorini experience. But before we dive in, Please make sure to smash that like and subscribe button that you can never miss our upcoming travel guide. Let's get started. Number 1. Ia The most romantic spot on Santorini is Ia. That's because it's the quietest village catering to the romance of the island, with most honeymooners and couples opting for a stay at the boutique cave hotels designed with modern amenities but resembling the traditional whitewashed dwellings of the island's past. Think smooth curved white painted rooms, private plunge pools, sea view hotel pools, cave pools, and terraces that frame the heavenly sunsets that Ia is known for. What to eat? Ia has its share of romantic restaurants to pair up with its famously romantic hotels. The Red Bicycle, set on the village's main walkway, serves Greek dishes prepared with locally sourced products. And your meal here with a local butter pastry called Melitini. Things to do One of the finest spectacles to experience on Santorini is the sunset. Hundreds of people often gather at the island's edge in Ia to take in the sun's fiery descent. Grab a space early because spaces fill up quickly. Where to stay? In Esperas Hotel, which has white, arch-roofed cave houses built into the side of the island. Each one is perfectly cozy, featuring private terraces which are conveniently comfortable and incredibly romantic at sunset hour. Number 2. Imero Vigli, Firo Stefani, and Fira. South of Ia are three more towns where you'll find whitewashed boutique hotels and churches, restaurants, nightlife, and sites nestled into the side of the island. The views from each of them are equally stunning. Fira is the island's busy capital, and it sprawls northward into Fira Stefani, which then turns into Imero Vigli. A walkable path strings these villages together. It takes 40 minutes and has endless photo opportunities. What to eat? Head to Akteon, a simple tiny taverna in Firo Stefani's main square that has been operating for more than a century. Here you'll find recipes that have been passed down through generations of owners of the Russo's family. Try their versions of local plates like white aubergine moussaka, the famous and hearty Greek casserole. Things to do? The trail that connects Fira, Firo Stefani, and Imero Vigli is one of the most beautiful hiking routes in the world. This four-hour hike not only has non-stop breathtaking views, but is a chance to see the panorama away from the tourist crowds, pass whitewashed churches, sun-soothed cobbled paths, and feel as though you are walking through clouds. Where to stay? Aeneon Villas, found in Emiro Vigli on one of the island's highest peaks, were designed with modern touches and traditional cycladic architecture, all set around an infinity pool that has you feeling like you are sitting on the very edge of the island. The sunset views are spectacular too. If you do just one thing, take a walk to Skados, a 20-meter high rock formation in Emiro Vigli. It sits on a peninsula that juts out of the island and it's a sight to see. Number 3. Megalohori Megalohori village of Santorini manages to keep up the history of its 17th century roots. Pocked with pirate hideaways and historical old mansions built with high walls, beautiful wooden doors, and hidden courtyards, winemaking is ingrained in the local culture here, and it is where the island's first modern winemaking facility sprouted up. The tiny main square is still lively in the evening. Eating Options Fegara epitomizes the Megalohori atmosphere, set in an old mansion with a scenic terrace. This traditional Greek restaurant specializes in local dishes. If you want to learn how to cook them yourself, sign up for a cooking class there. Things to do? Explore Megalohori by following its labyrinth of stone steps and cobbled alleys and observing how locals live. Be sure to stop for a coffee break in the central park of the village which opens up to Megalohori Square, where, on any given summer night, elders will be playing cards or backgammon while children play in the foreground. 
Where you can stay? Vadima is a luxury hotel in the heart of Meghlahori. It has transformed a 100-year-old mansion into a stylish retreat reflecting the whitewashed beauty of Cycladic architecture. There's even a subterranean cave restaurant and a wine cellar. Number 4. Birgos At the center of the crescent-shaped island, you'll find the charming village of Piragos. The whitewashed traditional village is worth getting lost in at any time, with hidden corners that lead to charming cafes, terrace taverns, hidden courtyards where local school kids are playing or tiny shops selling handicrafts and local foods. Plus, the views here are spectacular. Vineyard-filled valleys stretched out to each coast before the land hits the Aegean Sea. Eating Options Celine one of the top gourmet restaurants in Greece has made its name dishing up top-notch dishes centered around local ingredients. An outdoor dining balcony opens each summer, providing a breeze and scenic spot to dine. Celine also has a cafe where you can find lighter plates and a more casual setting. What to do? Weave your way through the village itself, which is built around a medieval castle that used to protect the town against pirates. The lanes here are lined with adorable homes and tiny shops. When you finally reach the village's edges, you're face to face with stunning panoramic views. Options for Stay the Zannos Melathron Hotel is a cycladic style manor house that exudes elegance with its antique furniture, vaulted ceilings, cozy suites, and flowery balconies with a view. There's a pool, gardens, wine cellar, restaurant, and even a vineyard. If you do just one thing, make a short trip to the 18th century Prophetess Ilias Monastery, which has even more views to swoon over. We're almost there! Keep watching! I hope you enjoyed the virtual tour and found some fantastic recommendations for your next adventure. If you did, please subscribe to our channel for more travel content and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to see our new video. Have you been to Santorini? Or is it on your travel bucket list? Share your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. I love hearing about your experiences and tips. Number 5. Perisa, Camari, and Perivolos The east coast of the island isn't as known to visitors as some of the other neighborhoods on Santorini. But if you're after a secluded break, the villages here might provide just the kind of charm you are looking for, especially if you want to be near a beach. Unlike the celebrated, elevated clifftop heights of towns like Ia, these resorts cater to sand and sea lovers, and the sites are unique. Think volcanic sands in hues of deep gray and pitch. Perivolos, in particular, is perfect for an affordable island holiday experience. Here, you'll find water sports and beach clubs, with tavernas lining promenades. Best Eating Options one of Santorini's historic tomato canneries has taken on a new life in the form of chic restaurant 41. Mediterranean dishes served here include salads, pasta, and grilled seafood plates. And it all comes with a view of Perevolos Beach. Check into the charming private dining room for a romantic night of wine tastings and food pairings. What to do? There's a world underneath Santorini that's just as impressive as the island's 300-meter high cliffs. Divers set off from Santorini's beaches to explore caves, reefs, and coastlines that have been shaped by volcanic activity. Legend has it, the ancient city of Atlantis is here, just waiting to be found. Sign up for diving excursions at Volcano Dive Center. Santorini Dive, Mediterranean Dive, or Caldera Diving. Options for Stay? Orabel Suites is a coupled retreat on a quiet stretch of farmland near Perivolos Beach, and it has real secluded charm. Some of the spacious rooms here have their own private jacuzzis, and there is a central sparkling pool. And that wraps up our ultimate guide to Santorini. Thanks for watching! Let me know what kind of videos you'll like to see. I will add a new video out of the best ideas.
See you in the next video.